I was messaged last night by this kid asking me for my settings. I don't know if he got rolled by me or he was on my team. He didn't seem to understand the settings in Modern Warfare 3, so I decided to help him out. But then I posted my aim training video and even more people were asking me, what are these settings? Well, I am here to help all of you out. I will explain in full detail my settings for Warzone and Modern Warfare 3 in this short video. This video may be a little bit longer than my normal videos, so I made sure to include timestamps in the video so you can easily navigate the video. If you're confused or want to listen to a specific part again, well, there you go. First things first is my FOV. I set my FOV at 120. This is just personal preference for the most part, but keep in mind the higher the FOV, the smaller the target is in front of you. So if you don't have settings you are comfortable with beaming straight as an arrow, then turn your FOV down. I personally like a higher FOV simply because it makes me feel like I'm moving quicker and it heightens my senses to keep moving. This could be a placebo effect, but I have always found that the higher the FOV is, just makes me feel like I need to keep moving. Second is response curve. I prefer dynamic response curve simply because the response curve gives you the precision for distance aiming, but the ability to turn around and move quickly without sacrificing either. This again is personal preference. Some don't like this setting simply for hip fire reasons. It could feel a little too twitchy. Third, I run a 7.6 sensitivity. This again is personal preference, but that is what makes me feel comfortable. And I also turned on the per optic sensitivity multiplier for each zoom. Generally, I prefer a smaller sensitivity to help compensate hip fire in close range fights because of that dynamic response curve I mentioned earlier. It slows down my aim just slightly for better tracking at higher sensitivities. And I have higher multiplier for larger zooms because when you're zoomed in on a scope, even though your sensitivity is the same, it can feel slower because of how zoomed in your aim is. Fourth, I run the default aim assist on Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops in Warzone. I don't know why the default just feels better on Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone Black Ops just feels better, but again, this is just personal preference. Do whatever makes you feel comfortable or turn it off. I don't know. Lastly, and this is probably the most important setting tip I have for this entire video, is the outer dead zone and inner dead zone. Most players will talk to you about the lowest possible inner dead zone so you have quicker reaction times and doesn't make your movement or aim feel dull. This is a 100% true. The lower the dead zone you have, the better. Mine is at a 1, but you may need to up yours. Now, the last thing that a lot of players don't talk about is your outer dead zone. Maybe they never heard of it before, but think of your outer dead zone as your entire range of motion on your joystick. The reason for my outer dead zone being so high is because I'm shrinking the range of motion required for doing everything from recoil control to movement. Think of most gun recoil patterns as a straight line. If you have the default outer dead zone on, that area you need to cover for your recoil control is fairly large. But if you shrink down the outer dead zone, that line becomes a lot shorter. And if you're trying to control your recoil, it requires very minimal effort to do so. I find myself barely pulling down on the joystick in order to straight beam anyone I see on any weapon, regardless of its class. But this is something you're going to need to tweak on your own to find your own sweet spot and what you are comfortable with. But use my settings as a starting point, practice for about an hour or two, and see what feels good to you. Adjust to find your perfect sweet spot and you'll be frying lobbies in no time.